If you watched my previous video where I was talking what Hedera and HBAR is all about, I promised that in one of my next videos I'm going to show you how you can store your HBAR on the cold storage such as Ledger. And as I always say in all of my videos, storing your crypto on the cold storage is the safest way to keep your crypto safe, let it be Ledger, Trezor or any other cold storage. It's always going to be better than storing it on any of the hot wallets such as any of the Chrome extensions or maybe software for your computer and even better than storing it on a centralized exchange such as Coinbase, Gemini or Crypto.com or any other centralized exchange. So now let's jump into my computer and I'm going to show you how you can store your HBAR on your Ledger wallet. So we're right now in my Ledger Live and before we start, I suggest that you connect your Ledger wallet and you unlock it. And that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, now that you have your Ledger unlocked, we're going to go into Ledger Live and we're going to go into My Ledger. It used to be called Manager, but they renamed it recently. So now it's called My Ledger. And this is where all your apps are going to be. So in the search, we're going to type in Hedera and we're going to click Install and it installed. After that, we're going to click Add Account. We're going to open our Hedera app. And it's going to say Add New Account. You can name whatever you want. I'm going to leave it at Hedera 1. I'm going to click Add Account. And account added successfully. Now I'm going to click Done. And now you can click Receive and you can click Continue and you can see your address for Hedera. So you can copy that address or you can click Show QR Code and you'll be able to scan it with your Coinbase, Gemini or any other centralized exchange so you'll be able to transfer your tokens from your centralized exchange to your Ledger wallet. But wait, in the previous video you said that you had to do all these integrations, it's not that simple. Well, looks like recently, just before I decided to set up this tutorial, with the latest update of, from Ledger, now you're able to set up your Ledger account and you're able to actually see your Hedera balance and you're able to see your wallet address. That way you can transfer all your tokens directly from here. So it got way easier. And that's what I suggest you do. Just update your uh, Ledger Live to the latest version and you're going to see that easy account setup right here through Ledger Live. But in case you want to set it up with, let's say, Hashback Wallet, which is a very popular wallet for HBAR, let me show you how you can do that. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to go to hashback.app. And by the way, I'm going to leave the link down in the description below. And this is going to be the software wallet for HBAR. And over here we're going to click download. We're going to click install on Chrome or we can click launch web app. The experience is going to be exactly the same but I feel like it's always easier to have a Chrome extension so I'm going to click install on Chrome and I'm going to click add to Chrome. I'm going to click add extension. It's going to take a little time and it got added. Let me just spin it real quick. Now I'm going to click on the hashback extension and it's going to ask you to set up your password. So set up a secure password. I suggest you use the password manager. I'm using NordPass, but you can use whichever password manager you prefer. So I'm going to paste the password and I'm going to click agree. And I'm going to click next. After that, I'm going to click create new wallet. And after that, on the next screen, you're going to click new wallet using ledger. And you're going to click connect. And over here, you're going to select web HID. You're going to click get public key and you're going to need to pick up your ledger and approve that transaction on your ledger. It's going to show like this export public key. I hope you guys can see it. You're going to click right and over here it's going to say approve. So you're going to double click on approve. It's going to show you your public key that you can look at. And after that it's going to say success, click next. So you're going to click next. You're going to give your wallet a nickname, give it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Ledger. Select currency of display. In my case, it's US dollar and I'm going to click create wallet. And then the next screen is going to suggest that you save your information. In this case, it's account ID. So this is going to be your address where you can send your HBAR. And by the way, it's going to be a little bit different from the account that you set up over here. So it's like going to be like two separate accounts if you set it up both here and on the Hashback app. So make sure you're uh, aware where you send in your HBAR to. But still, both addresses belong to Ledger, so your funds are going to be safe and secure with Ledger. And after you copy and save that information, you're going to click I have saved this information. I understand that my account cannot be recovered without it. I'm going to click Let's Go. 
and you're gonna see your address here as well and you can copy it again. And that was it, that was a short and simple video on how you can set up your Ledger device to support HBAR and how you can safely store it on a cold wallet. If you update to the latest version of Ledger Live, you'll be able to set up an account right there in Ledger Live and you'll be able to see your wallet address and send it directly there. Or as I've shown you, you can also set up integration with Hashback app and you can also view your account over there. But please be aware that there might be different wallet addresses nonetheless they're both going to be belonging to your ledger device so your funds are going to be safe on the cold wallet if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up to help youtube algorithm and if you want to see more stuff like this please subscribe to my channel down below and i'll see you all guys in the next one bye